you when the time's near, but if I never jump, then I hear yeah, ain't no rock till you pick up me. They think college is all you need. And I don't blame your brain watching on you see. It took me 19 years to finally start to believe. And it's me to listen. I'ma make it all rain all the time. All about my money, don't waste my time. And here were the Boston Celtics arriving earlier. The players with a look of intent. Before we get going, let's hear from Hey, Kevin. We have... He sure does. Fantastic, David. Thank you. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Walker in smart for go. On the small floor with Tatum holding down the fourth spot. And it's Thompson in at the center. And for Minnesota, they've got McDaniels. Beasley is out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Carl Anthony Town. And it's Edwards in at the three. Oh, here's Edwards. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. He's not there. Thompson inside. Towns on him. Smart, wide open, he fires. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And of course, this is Smart's biggest hurdle. Sometimes he looks great shooting the three. Sometimes, though, it's just the opposite. Now, here is Russell. Checks up a three. Connects from three-point range. When defending Beasley, you've got to get up on him. I mean, he's lethal as a catch-and-shoot guy. And Walker kicks to Thompson. And here's Brown outside. And again, Boston with the triple. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now here's Towns. And good that time. Well, you got to do better to group Towns out of there. I mean, he's a really polished scorer inside. And the Timberwolves have made it clear Carl Anthony Towns is their franchise player. He's the guy they're building around. Timberwolves have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Towns, the best to Russell. Down low, here's Beasley. The shot's good. Beasley's got five now. And we've heard Towns for years pronouncing his happiness with the Timberwolves. Last season, Greg, as the losses piled up, some rumors that he was getting frustrated. Well, we've seen this pattern with the Timberwolves before, right? Kevin Garnett, Kevin Love, all-star big man who ended up leaving the Twin Cities to win titles. Here is Russell, following the basket by Jalen Brown. Russell pushes to Towns. Tipped away. And Thompson sends it back. And he's able to get it back. Second shot opportunity. Towns with the bucket. Towns has got a second bucket tonight. Good luck trying to keep Cat off the glass. Carl Anthony Towns loves mixing it up down low and getting after those second chances. Boy, did he burrow his play in there, and the D just sort of backed off. Russell against Tatum. Here's McDaniels. Shot clock. Reset for the Timberwolves. That one goes. Coming. He has six. And, and getting after it on the offensive glass and adding to that early total. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And that one's good. Town. And now, the first time I've played here for Boston. Look, I know you've played for some great coaches in your day. What is it that separates the truly elite coaches, in your opinion, from just coaches that are pretty good? That's most important for a great coach is consistency. And, and I've said this, you can you can coach a lot of different ways, you can win a lot of different ways, but you've got to be sincere and true to your principles and, and your philosophy. And those are the coaches, and I've had them that have done it different ways, but they've been 
been the most successful. And listen, you've also, at the professional level, you've got to have a presence about you. You've got to have some charisma out there as well to get these men to buy in. Now here's Williams. That's it fly from 18. The shot comes out. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good look. Rubio, the best to read. A three-pointer, no good. Austin's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Williams trying to break free. Again, the Celtics good for two. Yeah, I tell you what, Tatum really good at getting out in transition and taking advantage of what the defense gives you. On Spaz, Russell. Fires for three. Sinks the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. For Boston, they've gone 8 of 10 shooting, coming out fairly strong. Pritchard gets the bucket. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. The drive by Rubio. The rebound by the Celtics. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And Fournier has been an absolutely lights-out long-distance shooter every season he's been in the league. Fournier against Russell. Releases. And Tatum pulls it down. Celtics leading by three. Great offensive performance they're putting on. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in a zone. And I'm sure they feel this Minnesota with the ball after Jason Tatum missed on that last three corner. And it's Towns missing. Shot and game clock separated by five. It's Fournier on the way. Back to Williams. And he makes good on the way. Yeah, the clever Frenchman. Fournier solid at recognizing when the defense isn't covering one of his teammates. Fournier against Russell. Side. No good, unable to end this run. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. Celtics lead by five. And we'll... And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you? Stats one. An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what? It makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. We've got Brown. Williams is out there with Williams. Then it's Evan Fournier. And it's Pritchard in at the point guard. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Free throw no good for Williams. Well, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. Rising talent wants to prove people. Here's Brown. Reed with the rebound. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You gotta appreciate that stop. And the Celtics making a change here. Smart's checked in. Austin leading by seven. The shot's good from Fournier. Boy, Brown, not just a super athlete, folks, but he's got excellent skills as well. A tremendous floor general. Here's Cole. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's on Jalen Brown. Yeah, the defender all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Well, we know GA shooting is a question mark for Jared Cole. Uh, a little hitch in his giddy up and shoots it kind of on the way down. He, he's reworked his motion. I like the high release, but it, it's still a work in progress. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Tristan Thompson comes in for Williams. And it's Kimball Walker in for Evan Fournier. He's late the best to read. Stolen by Thompson. And Walker with a clear hit to the hoop. And the shot is good. Walker ready to shoot as soon as he catches the ball there. Great anticipation from the veteran guard. Pass to Beasley. Back to Rubio.
passes it to Reed. Colbert kicks to Rubio. Off target from outside. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing going. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Rubio looking around. Beasley with a clean look. Colgan with a triple. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage in. As a result, they've got a big lead. And now, with the fast break, Smart with the ball, Thompson for the triple. It's not going to go for him, and it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Oh, Kobe. And Josh Okoji, a rugged wing defender out of Georgia Tech. Yeah, and he takes an awful lot of pride in that aspect of his game. He wants to lock people up. Always active with his hands around the ball. Josh Okoji was born in Nigeria, but moved to the U.S. with his family at three years of age. And he attended high school and college in Georgia. However, he does play for the Nigerian national team. Daniels, he's checked in for Minnesota. Edwards comes in for Ricky Rubio. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Josh Akogi. And it's Walker penetrating. Excellent team there from Beasley. Timberwolves trail by 12. A shot by Cover. Nobody around. The Timberwolves again can hit. Brown, good. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and continue to score consistently. Weasley against Walker. Towns for three. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. To the paint from 13. Off the left rim and up. Timberwolves have gone one or six from the field in the second quarter. It's been a rough period so far. Here's McDaniels. Good on the shot. And that shades the lead to single digits. McDaniels got his first bucket in this one. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that seven. He gets that one. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. It's Beasley on the wing, guarded by Walker. Here's Edwards. But they get it back. Back to Beasley. On deep three-point range. And it's Towns on the foul. Towns has got five points now on the court. You know, his positioning here, the human, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tilt that one back in. The Celtics working the ball around now. Thompson with it. Culver covering. The shot by Thompson, no good. Timberwolves trail by nine. Here's McDaniels, and he drops in the way up off the glass. McDaniels got his second butt. Nice heads up play that time from Colvin. Excellent awareness. Shot's good by Walker. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can Martin. see why. He's pouring it on. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. And the lack of rim protection is hot on the list. And, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Vanderbilt's checked in, and it's Russell in from Elite Beasley. From about 19 feet, the rebound by the Celtics. Tatum's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Fournier into the lane. Minnesota's gone, one six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20 percent, but they continue to run fun. Well, Russell is so smooth. He's got deceptive length, which allows him to get those shots off behind the arc. Pritchard gets the bucket, and here's Russell. He has six. Blocked. And how about 
the craftiness from Taylor. He plays smart, quick hands on defense, and able to block the shot. Now Brown, he's got seven. Here's Fournier. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Towns has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Vanderbilt. Fournier pulls it down. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Here's Pritchard. Finish off the break. Pritchard's got eight. Good read from Tatum that time. Saw the defense and overcommitted and then made them pay with the sweet hat. Well done. And so it's the Boston Celtics going into the break. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back. We saw Kemba Walker lighting it up in the first half. He had 14 points and won a six. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. What a game we're seeing from Kemba Walker. He just loved the patience in that first half. He waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. Edwards is out there with McDaniels. Then it's Malik Beasley. Then there's D'Angelo Russell. And it's Towns in at the center position. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Russell against Walker. Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul. Hey, Greg, you play with some big personalities. Talk about the best way to manage egos and conflicts in the locker room. That's a, that's a very interesting, uh, interesting job. Hey, no doubt about it. You know, Kev, first thing you learn from middle school on, your team is your team. I mean, let's face it, all families have spats, uh, and so do teams. You just learn to never personalize those things. Never leave any stone unturned. Like, don't let things fester. When there are issues, you address them. And if you're not taking things personally, you tend to be able to work through whatever issues you may come in front of. Good advice. Offensive rebound. Towns, the best to McDaniels. Good D by Thompson. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Boston. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Minnesota making a switch here. Reed's checked in. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That free throw good from Brown. And the vertical that Brown has is uh, quite impressive. As relentless a finisher that you'll find in this league. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they brought a long time out of it. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And last season, Colonel Anthony Towns shooting over 40% from three-point range with over eight attempts a game. I mean, Greg, he is in the conversation, don't you think, for best three-point shooting center of all time? It, it's amazing, Kevin. His volume of threes is unprecedented for the center position. And it's not just standstill. Catch and shoot triples, he's hitting step backs. He could have that title when it's all said and done. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was... 40 years ago. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. A Kogi's checked in for Towns. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Beasley. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says when athletes are also informative, it can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big, and I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, DA, there. Thanks. Russell passes to Reed. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. 
Russell's got his fifth assist in this one. Yeah, you look at Russell, and one of the things I like most about his game is this guy has great vision and passing ability. Brown against Hines, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Anthony Edwards. Vasilic shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Culver's checked in for the Timberwolves. And then for Boston, Williams comes in for Thompson. And Evan Fournier subbed in for Marcus Slurk. Rubio outside. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Rebounded by the Celtics. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. And there's the bucket from Tatum. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Rubio with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Outside, Russell. From outside, off the mark. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contribution. Here's Tatum. Lays it up off the glass. Tatum's got six points in the quarter. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Rubio misses. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. And that one is good. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Vanderbilt's checked in, and the Celtics making a change here. The Timberwolves have gone just 25% for the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Will it go? Williams with the block. A uh, main staple in Williams' game, that sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. Here's Pritchard, covered by Rubio. And it's blocked. They recover it. Swiped it away. Only their first turnover of the game, taking terrific care of the basketball. And that's one more key to their lead, guys. I mean, they're creating opportunities for each other and not the other team. They're on the bucket. 122 left to play in the third. Pritchard passes to Williams. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Russell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw off. So free throws for Russell. Something we should be saying often for the next decade or more. And so Russell hits them both. We've got 108 left to play in the third. And the pass to Williams. Here's the three. That's good from Williams. The assist for Williams. Three. Williams has got five now. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. Russell passes to Towns. Now, here's McDaniel. He's coming closely. Yeah, Towns has given them a huge injection of scoring tonight. A fearless, aggressive performance from the big fellow. Here's Williams. And a rejection by Towns. Outside, Russell. Feeds to Towns. Going to termination inside. Towns absorbs the contact and gets the whistle. It's his first trip to the line. Finished the season last year around 80% from the strike. Good on both. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. And it's Beasley finishing it off. Boy, such a dangerous threat in transition. I mean, once Beasley gets a step on the defense, goodbye. It's good. Eight seconds left to play here in the third. 
outside Russell. Oh, and so it's the Boston Celtics cruising into the quarter break with a 22 point. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can match. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Williams is out for the table. Then it's Marcus Smart. Then there's Tristan Thompson, and it's Fournier in at the shooting guard. Thompson dishes to Fournier. The 11-footer, that's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. Timberwolves trail by 21. Out to the right wing. Tatum against Evans. Here's Towns. He can't get that one. Good D by Thompson. Williams attacking, and he uses the glass on the layup. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. As to Towns. Just over a minute play here in the fourth. Boston leading by 23. Fournier's shot is off. Timberwolves have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Beasley against Tatum. Right side Towns. They get it again. The Celtics have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. The shot's good from Fournier. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now that they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. And the Timberwolves call time. Greg, when you played for the Knicks, I always heard that Charles Oakley would cook for the players. Is that true? Absolutely. Oak was very particular about his food. And I got to tell you, he knows his way around the kitchen. And to be honest, I would never tell him otherwise. Well, what was his special? Whatever he made. <laughs> a Kogi misses. Austin's gone four six from outside the arc tonight. Williams attacking, and the shot goes in. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. To the inside. Here's Juan Gomez to end the run. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. Late contact, straightforward call, simple. Some changes for Minnesota. Reed's checked in, and Ricky Rubio subbed in for Edwards. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Edwards, and the layup's good off the glass. Edwards got his first points in this one. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Pass to Hernan Gomez. The dish to Rubio. Just find the shoot. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. The Celtics on offense. They're on a 10 to 1 run. Smith, the pass to Ocean. No good on the shot a bit long that time. Minnesota's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Passes to Noel. Fires from 14. That one doesn't drop, and it's bust in the other way. Here's Edwards, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Now let's take a moment to get the guys take on the scoring so far for the Celtics. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint. 
because those have been big. Jake Lehman's checked in for Josh Akogi. Then for the Celtics, Jabari Parker comes in for Thompson. And it's Williams in for Robert Williams. And right there, Rubio doing what he does. Seeing the floor, exploring the defense, finding the open man, and getting the ball. Parker's shot is off. And it's Rubio with the ball for the Timberwolves. Inside, Lehman gets the bucket. Boy, you've got to appreciate the passing there. Results in a great look. The Celtics have gone five of eight shooting as we come down the home stretch in this final quarter. And he makes that one. Edwards got six here in this quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Now, here's Neesmith. He started close. Williams for three, and the Celtics hit again from deep. Phenomenal court vision by Parker. He really has all the tools to be a great player in this league. Rubio against Edwards. Here's three. It's hauled in by Edwards. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. That's good from Williams, the assist by Parker. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Celtics. Starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game. And they not only lightened the load, the subs did nothing less than guarantee a win. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Kemba Walker. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see his imprint put all over it. For the three, Edwards can't hit. And the Timberwolves with possession here. And there's the pass to Reed, Noel, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Aaron Neesmith. The first free throw is good. Some changes for Minnesota. Vanderbilt's checked in, and it's Russell in for Ricky Rubio. So one for two that time with the strike. A uh, disappointing trip to line there. Even though it was just one miss, now is not the time to be missing those. Now, here is Herman Gomez. Out to Russell. Shoots the three. Hits the three-point block. Well, Russell loves to take and make these quick trigger shots. He plays with a nice rhythm and flow to his game. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something.